I have officially been in New York for one week now, and I'm slowly settling in. This summer, I'm really learning what it means to be independent, to be an adult, to learn how to appreciate the more mundane things in life, a consistent routine, time to pursue new hobbies, new friends. I lived the beginning of this year like I was the main character in an adventure, constantly seeking new experiences and different thrills. I found fulfillment in external things, parties, career, love interests, anything that would advance the storyline to my adventure. But I'm taking the summer to find fulfillment in peace, in the quiet moments, in myself. So this is what my days have been looking like. I've been going to a new cafe every day to do work and avoid cooking. My first week was filled with a lot of solo exploring. My favorite place I went to was this Taiwanese shop that had Taiwanese dessert. One thing that everyone knows about me is my obsession with meat fresh, but this place hand makes the little taro balls and guys, it's so much better than meat fresh. It was busting. Might be a really bad idea but i am craving some hong kong milk tea and just some food because it's like six already but there's gonna be like a thunderstorm in 15 minutes so i'm gonna walk to chinatown in 15 minutes but the good thing is i ordered an umbrella off of amazon and i think it came so let's go to the package center and get my umbrella get ready for an adventure honestly you know hong kong milk tea in the rain <laughs> I've also been meeting a lot of new people in the city and it's been really fun getting to know more people and socializing but I do miss having my close friends around, friends that don't drain my social battery where silence is comfortable, where I can fully let my guard down. I've been thinking a lot about authenticity recently and if everyone is getting the same Lindsay Ann or if I'm still catering my personality to fit other people. I think on YouTube even, you guys see a very specific facet of my personality. My introspective voiceovers are very specific to this platform. I don't talk like this in my day-to-day -day life. I'm even pretty different from my voiceovers and when I just talk to the camera, but I think the key to authenticity is to actually not think too much about it. Just let your personality be. I saw this quote on Tumblr a while ago. I feel like a 15-year-old girl is saying that, but basically it said, don't sabotage your identity by trying to name it. Let it be undefined, permeable, mixed, peculiar, unapologetically authentic. Be at peace with being unprecedented, with not fitting anywhere, with being adrift. Before flight, there's always a free fall. This quote really resonated with me because I think for the longest time I've been trying to name my identity, to try to put it in a box where it made sense and where I felt like I finally knew who I was. But I guess like identity is constantly changing and there's really no point in trying to define it or be your most authentic self. You just have to be. Another thing I've been really enjoying is to go to the park. New York is indeed a concrete jungle and it makes me appreciate nature that much more. It is 3.37 and I honestly just spent this whole morning just editing my YouTube video. 
So I'm gonna go out, meet up with a friend, go to a cafe, do some more work. Honestly, I like going to cafes to write the voiceover part of my videos because I feel like that's where I'm like, you know, you get inspiration and more creative in, in like outside spaces. So I'm gonna go there, write my voiceover, and then I have dinner plans tonight. But let me show you the outfit of the day. Okay, so I'm just wearing this red top and these track pants. It's like 66 degrees in New York today, which is a lot colder because it was literally like 95 yesterday. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna wear a jacket over and call it a day. But honestly, I've been loving life in New York so far. I feel like just like waking up in the morning, I wake up so much earlier and I'm just so much more excited to like get the day started and really go out and do stuff. I sound like such a fucking annoying transplant, but I am. I, I'm in awe of the city right now. And even though I lived here last summer, just like being here again, it's amazing guys, it's amazing. And I feel like I, I've like literally been here for 48 hours and I've already made like a lot of new friends, which is like really fun and exciting. So yeah, I, I'm happy right now, guys. I'm happy. But that's the end of my video. This is what I've been doing my first week here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.